Hello there, where is Zach here? Today I'm going to show you guys a very simple technique I use to create the retina patterns for my 3D characters. If you have been on my Instagram page, you will notice most of my renders have the same style. So today I'm going to show you how I do it using Corona and Rafa Cinema 4D. If you don't have Corona and Rafa Cinema 4D but you still want to follow along this tutorial, feel free because this style is not limited to Corona and Rafa. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first technique using the material stacking in Cinema 4D using Corona Renderer. And the second technique using layered material. But note that the first technique, not every render engine supports material stacking in Cinema 4D. So you need Corona Renderer before you can do the first one. The second technique, which is the layered material, you can use any render engine at all to create it. So let's hop into Cinema 4D and start creating. Alright, so here we are in Cinema 4D, I've already prepared this scene that I'm going to use for this particular tutorial. The first thing we want to do is to go up here and change the renderer from standard to corona and I already did that. So that's all you need to do for the render settings for now. And um, create a very simple sky, so corona, corona sky and change the type from physical to HDRI and browse to your hard drive and get your HDRI so I want to use this particular one for my render so for the intensity I want to do 2.5 and offset 15 let's start the interactive view port alright so let's click on visible directly to hide the HDRI um, this is okay maybe I want to do 5 for this one okay that's cool I love this particular HDRI because it has this warm color and this cool color so I get to experiment with warm and cool colors when I'm texturing but I don't use this in my final renders most of the time so this is just for um, my texturing starting my texturing process alright so I've already created um, my material so I'll create another one and um, name this base and name this overlay all right so let's click and drag our base onto our subject and double click on the material to open the material editor so for the diffuse i want to do zero here zero there and here five so activate the reflection and change the glossiness to 0.7 maybe the highlight is too much so let's go to our render settings and go to camera stroke post processing and for the tone mapping let's change this one the highlight compression let's make that five and that should make the render a little better for the highlights let's restart the renderer and i think this is okay and for the bloom and glare, let's deactivate the bloom and glare for now. So this is better. All right, so let's go back to our base material. And for the bump channel, let's load in this texture map. I use this texture map for my scratches. So I'll add this in the description and you can go download the same texture map for your work. All right. And already we are seeing something but let's get closer to this I've already created a camera and added a protection tag so let's duplicate that delete this protection tag and activate this camera and just zoom in so this will serve as my close-up camera okay maybe um, let's duplicate this here hold control and click and move this protection tag here to duplicate it so we have two cameras a close-up shot and the medium shots let's get closer to see the details maybe the bump is too much so let's go here and change the bump to five let's decrease the size of the scratches as well so let's click on this small arrow here and go to corona and triplanar so inside the triplanar we can change the settings Already we have the triplanar working on this particular channel so um, maybe that is too small and um, let's do this 250 and go back here to our medium shot. 
that's okay. I want to increase the detail here so that I'll see the details really well. Okay, alright, that's that's great. So that's for my base material. Okay, that's looking great. So let's apply our overlay material to our subject and for the overlay material I want to create a very simple bronze material so for metals you don't need to activate the diffuse you just need to activate the reflection channel so reflection make this 50 and for the color let's do something between here not sure about the color but I think this will work and for the closeness let's do 0.8 okay so this is where the magic is so go to your opacity channel and if you don't know how the opacity works it works just like masking in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator you use a black and white image to control the opacity so the black part will be where um, the um, the black part will be hidden and the white part will show so you need to use a black and white image so This is where you load your black and white part and so I'll click on this bar here and load in um, my black and white pattern I'm going to use the retina pattern by the French monkey. This is what I've been using This is what I used for my recent renders and it's the same thing that I used over here it's a pack so I just load in something and hope for the best so um, I've loaded something here already and let's let's restart the render wow this looks great <laughs> so let's get close up and check the details as well close up and um, that looks great, that looks great, that looks great. Okay, so this is looking great. So let's change the size of the part in a little bit. Open the material editor again and click on the small arrow icon and go select the corner triplanar and this should start working. Okay, let's restart this. For some reason, you need to be restarting this to see the effects. So this is how you create the shader using the material stacking process in Cinema 4D. I'll go ahead and use the second technique that is using the layered material to create a similar effect. So to do that, I'll need to go here, click on Corona and create a Corona layered material. Double click on the layered material to open the material editor or just select the material and you have the material editor preview here in your attribute panel. Click and drag your base material into your base material slot here. You need to load the overlay material here in slot 1. This overlay material we created was for the first technique that is the material stacking. So let's duplicate this. Double click to open the material editor. But for the second technique, we don't need to activate the opacity channel. So let's just deactivate that. Let's click on our layered material to have it open in the attribute channel. And click and drag our overlay material here into slot 1. And the next thing we need to do is to load our part in here in this mask section over here. So let's click on this icon and load any of our retina parts. So I like to I would like to use the retina BM18. Go ahead and delete the materials we've already applied to our subject. And click and drag this layered material onto our subject to apply it. And there you go. So this is the second method to create the same effect. But this time around, we didn't use the material stack. And personally, I like the second method because I don't need to stack a lot of materials to get the desired effect. Sometimes I use more than one overlay. Sometimes I can use two or three overlays using different materials. And um, let's try that. So let's duplicate this one. But this time around, let's use a silver material. So double click to open this. And all we need to do is to change the reflection color to white. And we have a silver material. Click and drag this into slot 2, layer 2. 
and open a different pattern so this time around let's do um, something okay let's do this yeah and there you have it so now we have three materials all in one layered material so we have the base we have the bronze material and now we have the silver material and that is the end of the tutorial i would like to see what you guys can create with this technique so if you're able to create anything just forward it to my dm or send it to me via email as well as i got gmail.com and i would love to see that for this technique you are not limited to just metals or just charcoal materials you can use any material at all sometimes i use a skin shader sometimes i use a glass material but you can feel free to explore and experiment with different materials and different patterns to see how you can also use this technique in so many wonderful ways thanks for watching if you have any questions drop them in the comment section and i'll answer them for you and if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you are watching from instagram you can send me a dm if you have any question and if you are watching on youtube please like share subscribe to see more don't forget to hit the bell icon see you in the next one